Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at pressure, specifically gas pressure. So before we get started, we should probably know what pressure is. Pressure is just force distributed over a certain amount of area. So force is just a push or a pull, and it's spread out over an area. Uh, you can kind of think of it like this. I have a little remote control here. and If I put this on my forehead and I push really hard, it's not going to do anything. The force is spread out over the entire area of this. Not a big deal. If instead I take, don't try this at home, seriously, I take a paper clip and I straighten it out where it's a little tiny part and I put that and I would push as hard as I pushed on the other one, it would hurt really bad and I would end up with a hole in my head, which I have plenty of those already. The difference is that the area of this is really, really small compared to the area of this. So what happens is that when I take a certain amount of force and I spread it out over this area, it's a low pressure. If I take that force and I spread it out over a very small area, it's a large amount of pressure. And we're going to look at this phenomenon with gases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our handy dandy FET simulation here and I'm just going to put some atoms in this box. And I'm just going to put a few. And you'll notice that as they move around, they bump against the walls of the container. This would be a force. Each atom pushes on that wall as it comes in contact with it. Now, you'll notice that the pressure is pretty small, 0.11 atm. ATM is a unit of pressure that stands for an atmosphere. We'll talk more about that later. Typically, we're going to use a unit called the Pascal for our unit of pressure. And here we can see it's a small amount of pressure, and it goes up every time one of these bumps into a wall. And the faster it bumps into it, the uh, greater the pressure. So there are a couple ways we could increase the pressure here. If these atoms are moving faster, they bump against the wall with more force, and that's going to increase the pressure. Uh, and I can do that by heating them up. Also, if there are more of them, so if I put a bunch more in there, there's more atoms hitting the wall at the same time, and so you can see now the pressure goes up. So the greater the force, the greater the pressure. I can also change this by changing the area against which, which excuse me, these push. So right now, they're pushing on this whole area here. If I take the little man in the corner and I push this way, there's less space for those atoms to bump into. And you'll notice that as I push, the pressure increases. So the more space they have, the less pressure there is. And you can see that pressure gauge reacting. And the more tightly I squeeze them, the more the pressure increases. And we can increase it until it explodes, which, honestly, why wouldn't you? It's fun. So again, pressure is force applied over an area. We measure it in unit of pascals. And the greater the force, the greater the pressure. And the smaller the area, think about our paper clip, the greater the pressure. And that is what you need to know for an introduction. Um, hopefully when we get into the labs, you'll see a little bit more about this.